Donald Trump fired up a mostly cheering crowd at his rally in South Carolina tonight, but several protesters were taking including a Muslim woman who stood silently during Trump's speech. Senator Jeff Zeleny is there, and he has a story. So, Jeff, a shocking moment tonight at Donald Trump's rally. What happened? Well, Don, it sure was. I mean, we see protesters at Donald Trump rallies all over the country, everywhere he goes. But we haven't seen many moments exactly like this. And just to set the scene for you, about, about 30 minutes into the rally or so, there was uh, um, a bit of a commotion happening behind um, the speaker, behind... Um, uh, Mr. Trump. He kept speaking a little bit, but um, there was a silent protest. Rose Hamid, a 56-year-old flight attendant from Charlotte, was standing silently, um, just, uh, and the people around her were watching to see exactly what was happening, as you can see from this video here, and suddenly a police officer escorted her out. But what I was most shocked by, and she was making a statement, she uh, came to this uh, rally to show Trump supporters what a Muslim actually looked like and she was just like them and she's a you know um, a proud American as well but when she was escorted out and walked up the steps what I was struck by was how this crowd treated her you can see it from the video there um, uh, someone uh, sort of uh, did a hands down thing to her other people um, were screaming and all the way across the hall where I was standing some people were saying some very um, not nice things that I won't repeat here Don so that's what I was struck by how the crowd reacts when something like this happens of course this has all been inflamed uh, by the uh, rhetoric that uh, um, has been going on for the last couple months or so on the campaign trail. Yeah, and as you're speaking there, we just saw the video of the guy giving her the thumbs down, and then at the end, his wife sort of pulls him away, um, but there were a lot of people booing her as well. Uh, was Donald Trump aware of what was going on? I do not believe that he was aware of exactly what was going on, but of course, um, all of this was sort of a um, started with other people uh, who were also being escorted out. It was kind of a, a series of protests. So he sort of stopped speaking for a while. But I do not believe that he actually knew specifically who was uh, let out. And, uh, and a rose was sitting sort of directly behind him. So I do not believe that he saw exactly what was happening. And we actually asked his aides for a reaction, um, why she was thrown out. And they have not yet uh, returned our request for comment. Tonight, Jeff Don. Zelny reporting tonight. Jeff, thank you very much. I want to bring in now Rose Hamid. She is the Muslim woman who was at that rally and who was kicked out and uh, got a, some guff from the crowd. So Rose, what happened? Um, I'm not sure. I think the, my purpose for going there, is, um, as was mentioned, was that I, I wanted, I have this sincere belief that if people get to know each other one on one, that they'll stop being afraid of each other and we'll be able to get rid of all this hate in the world, literally. Mm -hmm. um, so that was really my goal, was to let people see that Muslims are not that scary. Mm -hmm. um, and and it, the people around me were lovely. There, there was people who were very nice. They were sharing their popcorn. It was, it was very nice people all around me, the people I had conversations with. Um, but then what happened when, when the crowd got this like hateful crowd mentality um, as I was being escorted, they, it, was, it was really quite telling of, and, and a vivid example of what happens when you start using this hateful rhetoric and how it can incite a crowd where moments ago were very kind to me. Actually, one woman reached over and shook my hand and said, I'm so sorry this is happening to you. Yeah. So you said that you wanted to show people at the rally that, you know, Muslims are just like you. But I, I, some people would say, why would you even go and put yourself in that position, Rose, to be around those people? Because I don't want to think of them as those people. I think that's what the problem is, is that we look at people and we categorize them as those people who are bad people and these people are the good people. And I believe that people in all camps are decent people when you get to know them, as was exampled, or as was evident by the people who were around me, who were very lovely people. But it's when you get that hateful rhetoric going is what incites people. I, I never felt truly threatened. I was not afraid of these people because I think, I truly believe that the decent people would have stood up and not permitted that. That's, yeah. that's my that's my belief. I believe. So that what most were they saying the to you? So because according to some of the reporting, they said they like were booing guy, you and shouting you to get out. And they, I mean, did one person really say you have a bomb? You have a bomb. Yeah, the one guy was saying, "Get out! Do you have a bomb? Do you have a bomb?" And I said, "No. Do you have a bomb?" So no, they they were they were saying ugly ugly things. One guy was saying, uh, "God is great." And I'm like, "Yeah, God is great." And one guy said, "Esau loves you," which is the Arabic word for Jesus. And I said, "Yeah, I know. And Jesus loves you too." So it's the the thing is that people 
don't even know what they're saying. They don't even, they they just get riled up in the hate mongering and they, they don't even know what they're saying. So I, I, I basically feel sorry for them. Mm -hmm. they, they just don't, they don't know what they're missing. So we hear, um, you know, Donald Trump, he's told me, he tells, he's told, said in other interviews that he has a lot of Muslim friends. Do you believe that? I don't know. You have to define friends, I guess. Go on. <laughs> I just don't know. You don't know. I just don't think, I don't know what he, what would he call a friend? And I don't know what, so I, I can't answer that. I, do I believe that he has friends? I, I, it's obvious he has business dealings with Muslims, but, um, you know, I, I don't know if he really knows uh, what Muslims stand for. And I don't think that, I don't even think he believes in the rhetoric that he's spewing. I think he's just saying stuff to get attention and to get his numbers up. I think well, you're not the first person to say that because Donald Trump is, you know, a native New Yorker and there are, there are plenty of Muslim people as there are all types of religions and ethnicities uh, here in New York City. But you said to me, I thought you said something that was very profound. You said I went there because, you know, not these people didn't mean it in that term, but um, you don't want people to look at these people, you know, as these people. But your treatment, were you surprised by how you were treated or did you think you were going to go and people were going to be accepting and embrace you? I, I think it played out like I had kind of envisioned. I knew that the people that I had made contact with would be decent, nice people because they, when you make a human contact, that's what happens. But when, mm. you, when you don't, then the opposite is what happens. And um, I'm, so I'm not 100% surprised. I, kinda, I knew that um, I knew, I've seen what happens before at other Trump rallies, but once again, I don't want to lump all of them into those people either. I think that um, everybody's uh, redeemable. Everybody's got good qualities. It just depends on what they're hearing and what they're being influenced by. So Rose, they're allowing themselves to be influenced by. Rose, tell us about the t-shirt. You wore the t-shirt to the rally, and I think you wore um, the, <laughs> the star. Is that a star? That, I can't see it real clear. I have a very small monitor in here. And, yeah, and, and the star a, that you have. Tell us star. about it. It's a, it is a star. Yeah. Tell us about well, that. Well, the the t-shirt says, the, it says, Salam, I come in peace. It's from a website, uh, cool, uh, Muslim t -shirt, or cool Muslim t-shirt, coolmuslimshirts.com. Um, and it's just, I thought it, it expressed what I wanted to say, which was that, you know, I shouldn't be feared. I'm not, you shouldn't be afraid of me. I'm, <laughs> I'm coming in peace, you know, that um, old saying. And uh, that's what the shirt is about. So I wanted, I wanted to be very visibly saying, so that people wouldn't harass me, that, you know, I'm, I'm, coming here peacefully and Islam is a peaceful religion and Islam is part of Salam. So is this yellow patch? Is this that's, a star that that, that's reminiscent of the one Jews wore during the Holocaust? Is that is that what that is? Yes, it is. Okay. It is. Yes, it is. It's supposed to be reminiscent that whole that whole concept of um, categorizing Muslims or putting Muslims in, um, you know, in a database and having them have special identification cards is very reminiscent of the Nazi mentality. What do you want so, the yeah, people that's, at that's that rally to that. know about you? Because, it, you know, they didn't, they, they may not be, they may not have gotten to hear you speak then, but now they may see this interview. What do you want them to know? I want them to know that they shouldn't be afraid of Muslims, that Muslims is not, Muslims are not the problem. Um, people who um, rant, uh, uh, um, I guess uh, extremist views on all fronts are the ones who we need to be wary of. I, I'm, I'm expecting, I'm hoping that people will learn uh, more about what Islam really says. We've got more alike. We, there's more things alike in our faith traditions than there are different. Uh, we worship the same God. We worship the same, we, we, we uh, honor the same prophets. So that's it's something that we, they should not be afraid of Muslims. We're, um, as, especially Muslims living in America, we're just trying to live the American dream, whatever that might be. Do you have a, do you support a candidate right now? Um, I'm still looking around. I'm still shopping. Would Donald Trump be among them possibly? No, <laughs> I'm sorry. But after, after, I mean, he had, he had some, he had some valid points. There's some things that I thought, you know, he was on point with, but just his style, I think, um, would not be a good, um, a good place for America to be. Yeah. Rose Hamid, thank you. We appreciate you coming on CNN. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much. Thank you.